Hello, this is Par64 Guy. Well, I've got another patient. This here is my portable air station, and I was using it to inflate a uh, relatively low uh, compact spare tire, and during that process, it just up and died. Lights went out, motor stopped, dead. So, time to take a look at it and see what's going on. It's here, so just the standard data on it there, you know, recharging time, indicator, um, light, uh, legend, uh, storage compartment here for the power supply and the, um, air fittings, which I, I don't have, I have them stored in my, uh, they kept falling out, so I just have them stored in my toolbox. Uh, and there's also a fuse here. And sure enough, let's take a peek. It's blown. Now this is fuse number two. I had already replaced the fuse once. So that's what's driving this video is the fact that this has now blown two fuses. The second fuse blew instantly. So something is definitely uh, faulted in this unit and it warrants a little extra diagnosis. To take this apart, I'm gonna assess first where our screws are, obviously, the four screws here, and I'd be willing to bet we probably got another one buried under there. And yep, there it is. Whenever you're taking something like this apart, double check because sometimes they hide fasteners like that, and you could end up spending a lot of time and a lot of foul language trying to figure this thing out how to get it apart. So let's get these screws out and we'll go from there. All right, let's see what we got. Circuit board down there, just got the LEDs on it. Um, battery, obviously. Uh, small DC motor, some gear reduction. And it looks like our pump is over here. Let's take a look here. So, I, I suspect that the motor might, the, the if something's going to go, I'm going to guess it's probably something in the uh, compressor because it was running when it stopped. So let me just check and see how this is operating. Ooh. Uh, that's not good. This guy is... He's jammed. That could do it. I check these are quarter inch bolts. It's my first time taking apart a uh, air compressor, so I'm learning as I go. I'm just taking it one step at a time. Feel free to make uh, comments in the uh, field below with your thoughts on what I should be doing differently. Okay, so we have this guy here. Looks like a whoa. Um, <laughs> the eyelet is loose. Yeah, that piston's going up and down, but you know what? So it looks like the check valve came loose. This eyelet is supposed to be in there holding it, and my guess is the piston came up, crunched that, seized it up, motor went into a stall, and blew the fuse. I'm going to try to flatten this. I'm going to see if just for giggles if I can flatten this out.
And this, uh, I mean, the way these guys work is when the piston moves down, this valve gets pulled open by the vacuum, allows the air in, and then when the piston moves up, it pushes this closed, which then forces the air out to a different path, which I believe is out this way, which is going to be out to the hose. I don't know how flat he has to be if he's going to be completely flat. It doesn't help that I don't have a nice vise either or an anvil that I can bang it against. So I'll have to put that on my Christmas list. Alright, so I'm trying to get this guy pounded in a little bit better, so I'm going to use a socket to support this, like so. I'm going to use the screw as a hammering surface. Seems to be on there. Worth a shot. Just gonna make sure this gasket's in there. This comes out that way. This goes in here. Spins freely now. That's a good sign. Now, I'm not going to trust this, so I'm going to at least use it for now. I'll try it and see if it works. I don't know how well that repair is going to hold, so this definitely is more just of an educational video. One for me walking through the diagnostics process of you know seeing what went wrong with this guy. But also for, for you guys to you know, kind of look at you know how things work and see what what uh how the different products that we use are put together. And you can see that this is spinning freely, so I think that was the problem. So you can see this is a 15 amp fuse. I don't have any 15 amp fuses, but I did find an 8 amp fuse. I'm not going to be foolish and put a higher higher amperage or, God forbid, a piece of wire in there. So I'll do the uh, the 8 amp just to see if the sucker will run. Well, we have light. That's good. And we have activity. Wonderful time. So I'm just 
just get this guy. I want to make sure all the uh, shock absorption stuff is in place. Make sure the wires are not in the way. So once again, like my vacuum cleaner servicing video, these are metal screws going into plastic bosses, which is nice and easy. I usually like to, as I'm getting close to tight, I feel it when the, I don't hold the screwdriver too tight. When my finger starts slipping on the screwdriver, it's usually tight enough. All right, we're hooked up to the bike tire. Let's try it out. Well, the fact that I charged it overnight, it still says it needs charging weak battery. That's telling me that the battery is, it's done. It probably sat for too long in a discharge state. So, well, you know what? It was a good learning experience uh, doing the repair. Uh, all looking to get in a new unit. But, at least I can maybe get some air into my tires. I can at least ride the bike a little bit. Well, that does it for this project. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, as always, if you like what you see, subscribe to my uh, channel and I'll send you more videos. Also, uh, comment below. Let me know if you have any ideas, suggestions on things I can do to make my videos better, as well as any possible projects uh, you'd like to see me do. Uh, once again, this is Parsing Guy, and talk to you later.